So maybe I'll, uh, I'll ask you a couple questions. So, so the first question is, um, so what is uh, up till now then, what, what, are, what, are, what are some of the warrants um, that, um, that Warburton is using? Yes? No, no, that's good. No, so, so he's saying that there's, uh, there's a sense in which when we read the Bible talking about nature, um, we have to read it as God somehow intervening in nature, right? And that's how we can sort of understand what's going on, right? We can't just read it as sort of straight literal history. We have to read it in terms of God's effect in the world. So that's one, that's, that's a warrant here, right? Another warrant that he's had? Yes? For uh, the columns one, his warrant is that um, everything in the Bible must be read as literal and historically. Okay, so he's, he's, he's giving us war uh, Collins' warrant, which is everything in the Bible has to be read literally and historically. Good. All right? Yes? So there's the warrant he has regarding how the passage of Bramble is, uh, is a, gives a moral uh, as to how weak people <coughs> tend to grab for power when they don't have the capability. Right, good. Right? Um, so. He had this warrant about how um, the, the brambles are an explanation for uh, how uh, weak people want to, want to rule even though they, ha don't, they don't have the, the capability, right? Uh, and, and the warrant was kind of complicated in which he was sort of explaining the way in which um, the brambles um, don't have this power that they are uh, imputing to themselves, right? Okay, 